Authorities in Texas say the Smokehouse Creek fire has so far consumed more than half a million acres since it started Monday, becoming the second largest in state history. It is one of five fires currently burning in the Texas panhandle. The blazes have prompted disaster declarations and evacuation orders for dozens of counties and have also forced the Pantex plant, one of the nation's main nuclear weapons facilities, to evacuate non-essential staff Tuesday. A spokesperson from the National Nuclear Security Administration claims the fire no longer poses a threat to the facility, but says on-site firefighters are ready to jump into action. We do have mutual aid agreements to where we can support our local communities as well. Uh, due to the time buffer that our local uh, communities gave us, we were very well prepared. So in the event that this fire were to spark back up again, we remain ready to handle that. A cold front is helping ease fire weather conditions, but the National Weather Service warns that dry and windy weather will return this weekend. The Supreme Court agrees to decide whether former President Donald Trump can be prosecuted on charges he interfered with the 2020 election. The justices say they'll move quickly, hearing arguments in late April and deciding no later than June. Until then, preparations for the trial are on hold. This means even if Trump loses the appeal, the trial won't take place until well into election season. If he wins, the charges are dismissed. The high court will determine whether the former president is immune from prosecution prosecution because he was president at the time. A Republican senator has nixed the quick passage of what seemed like a bipartisan bill establishing federal protections for in vitro fertilization or IVF. Mississippi Senator Cindy Hyde-Smith says she supports access to IVF, but adds, quote, the bill before us today is a vast overreach that is full of poison pills that go way too far, far beyond ensuring legal access to IVF. She objected to a request by a Democrat to hold a vote. The bill states people have a right to, quote, access assisted reproductive technology, and doctors can provide it and insurers can cover it without fear of prosecution. And now your NBC Montana Severe Weather Alert Team forecast. Between now and Friday night, we're looking at the potential of another 